Elliott College Math students. Uh, in this video, we're going to be doing transposition, which basically means rearranging the equation and switching it round. And they want us to make y the subject of these three equations here. So that basically means let's have y equals whatever it is, y on its own in the equation. And we can see in this first example on the left here that y is in fact not on its own. We have these other numbers with the y. So the 3x, or rather these other terms with the y I should say, but this 3x and this negative 5 need to go over the other side of the equal sign. And they will perform the opposite of operation to what they're doing on this side. So with a plus 3x that means becoming a minus 3x. And with a negative 5, that means becoming a plus 5. So the result is that y equals negative 3x plus 5. So y is now on its own in the equation. We're done. Now the next one, you might want to uh, pause the video at this stage and try these on your own, and then I'll have a go at them. Okay, so I'm going to do them now. So this next one starts out in a very similar way. Uh, we have this 5x and a negative 6. So this 5x can go over and become a negative 5x. And this negative 6 will go over and become a plus 6. So the net result of this is that we're left with 2y equals negative 5x plus 6. So at this stage, y, although it, there are no other numbers plusing and minusing from it, we still have that 2 in front of the y. So y is not on its own yet. We need to take that 2 over as well. Now, it might appear that, well, that 2 in front of the y is a positive number, so it must become negative on the other side, but that's not the case. It's not necessarily the opposite sign when term switch side. It's the opposite mathematical operation. Now this 2 is timesing by y or multiplying by y on the left hand side. So when it goes over the other side of the equation it does the opposite of multiply and it divides. So the net result is that y equals negative 5x plus 6 divided by 2. Okay, we're done with that one, so let's look at the last one. Okay, so firstly, 2x. Well, this is a positive 2x, so he's going to go over and become negative 2x. So the next line looks like this. Okay, now, uh, there's a couple of different ways you could approach this one half y, but one of them is to do this and say, okay, that one half is multiplying by the y, so I'll take it over and I'll divide. Now, at this stage, I'd give you just about full marks for this because you have made made it so that uh, y is on the uh, is the subject of the equation, but we can make this look a little nicer. Uh, because if we divide through by that one half, well, we're doing basically one divided by half, which gives us two. So y equals two by nine take two x, which is equivalent to eighteen take four x. So this looks a lot nicer like this. So an easier way to explain that might be to say instead of uh, if we look back to this stage here, we could call this y divide 2, that's the same as a half times y, equals 9 take 2x. And of course the 2 which is dividing on this side is going to go over and multiply on the other side. So that would look the same as what we have on the right here. Uh, so a little bit trickier that third one, but anyway... Go through and look in the description of the video for the questions that you need to try and uh, let's do some transposition.